Now here's a check on the top global headlines tonight. The search has moved underwater for the black box of MH370 with a special detector from the US being deployed for the first time. There are only about three days of battery life left in the plane's flight data recorder. So it is crunch time and this could be the last shot to pick up any signals. The yellow device you see here is known as the Toad Ping Locator, essentially a giant underwater microphone that will listen for pings from the black box. The locator will be pulled by the Australian ship HMAS Ocean Shield and it joins the British ship HMS Echo, which has similar capabilities. The two ships will start searching at either end of a 240 kilometer long corridor and meet roughly in the middle but they need to move at excruciatingly slow speeds to improve their chances. Also, the Pinga locator has a limited range of only about 1.8 kilometers. So the search for surface wreckage must go on to help narrow down the sea of the underwater hunt. I think there's uh, still a uh, great possibility of finding something on the surface. There's lots of, uh, lots of things in uh, aircraft that float. I mean, uh, in previous searches, life jackets have appeared, which can be connected to the, uh, the aircraft that was lost. Uh, in fact, one of the, uh, the most famous uh, investigations uh, of all time, when the uh, British Comet jet disappeared over the Mediterranean, uh, the key piece of evidence there was, uh, was a life jacket. And such clues could be crucial. While experts say sonar technology like the black box locator is probably the best hope now, such systems also have their limitations. For instance, echoes from a rough ocean floor and even sounds made by whales could interfere.